hello you are welcome here how to find the value of x in this math exponential problem here let's use two methods the first one method one from what is given which is x raised to power x equals to 2 raised to power 8 plus 2x from here we can apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n. Here this will be equal to a raised to power m times a raised to power n. Then here this will become x raised to power x equals to 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 2x. Then from here 2 raised to power 2x can still be written as 2 raised to power 2 and raised to power x do the same thing as 4 raised to power x then this now becomes x raised to power x equals to 2 raised to power 8 times 4 raised to power x then let's divide both sides by 4 raised to power x then this side divided by 4 raised to power x this side divided by 4 raised to power x then 4 raised to power x will cancel out here then we are left with 4 raised to power x raised to power x over 4 raised to power x now equals to 2 raised to power 8 and from here when we have a raised to power n over b raised to power n on the law of indices, this thing was a over b all raised to power n. So when we apply this here, this will become x over 4 all raised to power x now equals to 2 raised to power 8. Then from here, let's raise both sides to power of 1 over 4 so this becomes x over 4 raised to power x then raised to power 1 over 4 then equal to here as well we have 2 raised to power 8 raised to power 1 over 4 then from the law of indices this power multiplies and this we give us x over 4 raised to power x times 1 over 4 that's x over 4 then equals to here also this power multiply 4 year 1 4 year 2 then this give us 2 raised to power 2 then from here we have the base here same thing as the power here also base same thing as the power that is why we have a raised to power a equals to b raised to power b from here we can say that a is equals to b from here so applying this here now this becomes x over 4 is equals to 2 which is 2 over 1 then cross and multiply here we have x times 1 that's x then 4 times 2 that's 8 so we have x equals to 8 from here then the second method from what is given x raised to power x equals to 2 raised to power x plus 2x here we can take the log on both sides i will say log x raised to power x equals to log 2 raised to power 8 plus 2x then we can apply the power law of logarithm that is when we have log a to the power b this same thing as b log a then applying this here this becomes x log x then equals to here we have 8 plus 2x as a power here then log 2 then next step we can use this log 2 to open this bracket 
and here we become x log x equals to 8 log 2 then plus 2x log 2 then from here let's bring the one with x to one side so let's take 2x log 2 to this side and this becomes x log x now then minus 2x log 2 now equals to 8 log 2 from here then in the next step we have x common here let's factor it out so we have x into bracket what left here is log x then minus what is left here is 2 log 2 then equals to 8 log 2 then from here we reverse the power log and we take 2 to the power here so this becomes x into bracket log x minus log 2 raised to power 2 then equals to 8 log 2 then from here we have this same thing as x into bracket log x minus log 4 then equals to 8 log 2 then what we have here when we have log a minus log b here the same thing as log a over b so when we bring this together as one then we have x into bracket log x over 4 now then close bracket equals to 8 log Two. Then the same thing as x log x over 4 then equals to 8 log 2 from here. Then here let's divide both sides by 4. So divide this side by 4, divide this side by 4. So that 4 here 1 and 4 here 2. So we can separate this x and 4. That's x over 4 now. Then log x over 4 now equals to 2 log 2. So what we have here, we have x, the coefficient here we can equate it and we have x over 4 equals to 2. And also when we equate or we can equate the log here which is log x over 4 equals to log 2. Then, yeah, crossing multiply here, we still have x to be equal to 8 from what we have from the first method. Also, from here, we can say that x over 4 is also equal to 2, so we have x over 4 equal to 2 as well, which is which also implies that from here x equals to 8. So here we also have x equal to 8 which is similar to the answer we have in the first method now to verify to check if this value of x satisfies this given problem we can substitute the value of x back here that is this will become since x equals to 8 then we substitute here this will become 8 raised to power 8 is equal to 2 raised to power 8 plus 2 times 8 from here then here we have 8 raised to power 8 on this side is equal to what we have here becomes 2 raised to power 8 plus here 2 times 8 plus 16 and from here, this becomes 8 raised to power 8 equals to 2 raised to power 8 plus 16. Here we have 24. And also, here we can separate 24 
as 3 times 8 and we have a raised to power 8 equals to 2 raised to power 3 then 2 raised to power 8 then 2 raised to power 3 here is 8 so we have 8 raised to power 8 now equals to a raised to power 8 so we have left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence we can say that x equals to 8 satisfies this given problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell share this video thank you see you next class and bye for now